and they look like military recruits, but they're not soldiers. They're actually prison inmates. A deeper dive into the solution, helping them turn their lives around. They look a lot like military recruits, but they are not uh, military people. They are prison inmates. Reporter Philip Palmer taking us on a deep tonight, uh, deep dive, and showing us the creative solution, helping these men turn their lives around. It is a remarkably unusual sight to see men in a distinctly military environment operating in tandem and with precision while also knowing they are inmates at the California Institution for Men in China. You know, a lot of times you're being uh, talked to through another inmate who might be yelling at you. So, you know, those are the things that you have to overcome, and that shows your growth as uh, rehabilitation. The California Prison Industry Authority Dive Program at the Chino State Prison is a 6 to 18 month program offering multiple certifications in commercial diving. I like it actually underwater better than up here. It's peaceful. Each class has roughly 15 inmates who are chosen through a screening process and willing to meet the classroom component to learn dive medicine, physiology, and physics. The volume will decrease, so that balloon will get smaller. 10-hour workdays, Monday through Thursday, start with fitness training at 7 a.m. All stop! All stop! And a willingness to follow orders is mandatory. The program was founded in 1970 by a former U.S. Navy salvage diver, and that military component is still very much ingrained in the program, even now under the direction of Kenyatta Kalasana, a graduate who left prison in 2008 and then had a successful career in the dive industry before becoming lead instructor last year. What I bring to the table is uh, a little bit of uh, uh, the commercial side, and uh, but I keep them uh, with the Navy feel because that gives them the discipline and the structure to uh, become great divers out there. Twisting. As of 2020, about 50% of California inmates are reconvicted within three years of release. But with the commercial dive program, that number drops below 6%. All we hear is success stories about graduates that have left from the program. Whether they're diving or not diving, they're all doing something that they started or learned back here at dive school at MTTC. Hundreds of men have graduated the program over the years, having been trained in proper underwater tool handling, rigging and marine construction, welding and cutting. But the teamwork and leadership skills required in this industry might be the most valuable lesson learned of all. Well, I depend on him with my life. Philip Palmer, ABC7 Eyewitness News.